Hello, I love typing games. There's not something I say very often because, frankly, it's no way to begin a conversation, but then that doesn't really make it any less true. I really do love typing games. Maybe it's because they're how I learned to touch type. Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing! When I was a child, my parents bought Mario Teaches Typing, which was a horrible spin-off of the Mario franchise made by Interplay during that period when Nintendo was quite happy to license their portly plumber to pretty much any old garbage. Mario Teaches Typing is kind of awful, and I can't recommend you ever play it. I had to go through a couple of levels so I could capture gameplay for this feature, and it made me feel sick in a way no other video game has. That said, I just took a typing test online for the purposes of this video and came out with a score of 123 words per minute, so I'm loath to really drag it over the coals too much. So in the interest of upping your typing skill, and finding some better examples, here are three free typing games I really like, and two you have to pay for that are also very good. On your mark, get set, go! First up is Z-Type, which is actually the game that made me want to make this video in the first place. Z-Type is very simple and extremely stylish. You play as the spaceship you can see at the bottom of the screen. Enemy ships fly toward you, each with a word floating next to it. Each letter you type sends out a shot from your gun until the terrible word ships are destroyed. The longer the word, the bigger and more dangerous the ship. You get three area of effect blasts to save your skin, and that's about it. The best thing about Z-Type is undoubtedly the sound design. The staccato gunfire of your ship gives the same lovely sense of feedback as a manual typewriter or a mechanical keyboard. Next up is Drop, which is actually the first game Notch put out after Minecraft. This is probably the trippiest typing game you'll ever see. Instead of firing distinct individual words at you, letters spiral out from the middle of the screen. The words run into one another, meaning oftentimes Drop is as much a game about deciphering what the hell it is you're typing as it is about typing the words themselves. If any of the letters hits the edge of the screen, you lose, but making a mistake causes them to go faster, making it surprisingly brutal. I like this one because it forces you to enter a trance-like state and basically act a bit more on reflex. The Co-op Times, meanwhile, isn't a traditional typing game in the sense it gives you a bunch of words to type out on the screen. Rather, it gives you a short brief for an article, then whisks it away and asks you to pump out a short news story while the very literal deadline chases you slowly across the screen. The Co-op Times forces you to retain information and then parcel it out coherently, which is a useful journalistic skill, but it also emphasises the importance of accuracy. Because the hack on the screen is using a typewriter, you can't go back and fix your mistakes. Mistakes. Seeing gibberish words fall out onto the page because you've miskeyed something is surprisingly galling. The Co-op Times is remarkable because it teaches you more about why it's good to learn to type than it actually teaches you how to type. Making up your own headlines also happens to be tremendously good fun, and every story that gets written is automatically published to the Co-op Times website, so you can go back and read your stories or laugh at the piss-poor writing of other people. Moving on to typing games you need to shell out for, Epistory Typing Chronicles is a funny one. It's got a gorgeous papercraft art style that unfolds as you explore the world. Playing as a girl riding on a magic fox, Epistory is a far more relaxed experience than, say, Z-Type, but it also has some surprisingly deep RPG elements. My one gripe with Epistory is that the narration is a bit heavy-handed, but for a slightly more chilled out typing game, it's lovely. And finally, because there's no way we could leave this one out, here's the excellent typing of the dead overkill. <laughs> Taking the on-the-rail shooter format and swapping out the light gun for a keyboard, typing of the dead overkill has you typing words attached to zombies in order to stem the flow of undead and keep yourself alive. Presented with a ridiculous over-the-top B-movie aesthetic, and most importantly of all, featuring Shakespearean and rude word add-on DLC packs, Typing of the Dead Overkill is a ridiculous and joyous ride. So there you go, typing games. They're really sodding good. I'm always on the lookout for a few more though, so let me know your favourite and I'll give it a whirl. If you liked this video and fancy seeing some more stuff from Eurogamer, well look, there's a whole board full of videos you can watch right here and now, so, you know, give them a read and take your pick and, and click on one. And if you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be just lovely. Thank you.